You're watching Unreal Ant Gaming. This is Gohan from Dragon Ball Z. You want to see me turn Super Saiyan? Or should I take it to the next level? I'm also the narrator, too. Next time on Dragon Ball Z, make sure and smash subscribe to Unreal Ant Gaming. With Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter Number 60 looming over the horizon, scheduled to be released later on next week, we have brand new leaks, spoilers, and early images for the upcoming Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter Rough Draft, which basically illustrates the battle involving Ultra Instant Goku versus Moro, and having to further dive in depth in taking a look at the battle involving Goku and Moro, as of course we are going to be getting additional information, leaks, and spoilers for this upcoming manga chapter within the next few days. So if of course you guys are new to the channel and want to keep up to date with everything involving Dragon Ball, then be sure to go on ahead and smash that subscribe button and more importantly, turn on all notifications to never miss a single update video on this channel, as well as giving this video a big thumbs up by slapping that like button down below if you guys are simply stoked, ready, and excited to see the continuation of Ultra Instinct Omen Goku versus Full Powered Moro, as of course the fandom is also highly anticipating the return of Vegeta from Planet Yardra to Earth, with of course now the wheels beginning to spin, the following rough draft for the upcoming manga chapter courtesy of DBS Hype over on Twitter goes on to reveal the following. Now as you guys can see on screen, the manga chapter basically kicks off with Moro and Goku at full power and observing this battle from Beerus's planet is Whis and Maris and I love the overall narrative in the fact that Whis seems to be a little concerned as is Maris because this is the first time that Goku's going to be using his full power to fight against Moro since the Tournament of Power, and as you guys can see on screen, with Goku having to raise his energy up even more, so is Moro, and Goku appears to be serious, and Moro has a giant grin on his face, which basically goes to show that as strong as Goku is, Moro seemingly is going to match him in power, and this is scary because as we get to observe how both Moro and Goku are powering up, their auras are actually clashing against each other. So yes, Moro is relative to Ultra Instinct Omen, and even arguably could potentially be stronger than UI Omen Goku. So that is absolutely terrifying. But even then, as we get to see how Goku and Moro's energy are colliding over out in the distance, Gohan, Piccolo, 17, Jocko, 18, they're starting to lose ground because with Goku and Moro powering up so much so, it's causing everybody else to literally be blown away. So this is pretty scary in the sense to where nobody else could really do anything to kind of get in between them and trying to make a difference in this fight, as only then it is then shown how Goku and Moro are charging directly at each other. And this is very symbolic to what may actually be the final battle involving Goku and Moro because Goku's not holding back and neither is Moro. So with Goku coming in, and mind you, this is a very focused, very serious Goku and Moro is not even taking him serious. Moro instead is laughing in Goku's face. Moro is smiling at the face of Goku as only then we get to see how Goku literally, as soon as Moro gets close enough, Goku ends up releasing so much power. Goku powers up in such a way to where he ends up blowing Moro away just from the sheer roar, the sheer power of Ultra Instinct Omen. So there is going to be somewhat of a struggle between the two as early on, Goku didn't really attack him, but Goku managed to blow him away simply with his power up as only then over out in the distance we observe how Moro kind of fled away, and with Goku on hot pursuit and chasing him down, what Moro ends up doing is charging up for a massive, massive energy attack that's held above him, as seemingly enough Moro wants to end this with one shot. So 
The second we get to see how Moro is holding this up above him, out of nowhere what Goku ends up doing is Goku is so fast that he actually dashes right beyond Moro and he kicks Moro's own blast away from him into space. So Goku is so fast that Moro wasn't even able to tell what the heck just happened because as soon as Goku charged on in, he knocked his attack away and then followed by delivering a thunderous elbow shot to Moro's face right before proceeding to kick him down below. So. Early on, Goku looks like he has the upper hand because he deflected Moro's blast, he elbowed him in the face, he kicked him in the ribs, so Goku is going all in, mind you, he is sacrificing stamina to do this, as only then we get to see how Goku is pouncing on Moro's chest, he's stomping down on his abdominal section as of course Moro is being sent hurtling down onto the ground, Goku isn't showing any mercy and because of this, because of Goku wanting to legitimately end this fight as quickly as he can because Goku also knows that he has so much more to lose in this fight considering the fact that if Ultra Instinct Omen were to literally just burn out, then Goku is finished. He has no chance in this battle. So with Goku taking the lead, it's only now suggested that early on from the beginning, this fight is going to slightly favor Goku, but in an essence, Moro is still holding his own in this battle. So just because Goku right now is able to kind of hold his own, the title translates for the upcoming chapter, it's translated as Maris's Miscalculation. So that's most interesting to note is the fact that Maris actually miscalculated something very important which might inevitably lead to Goku's downfall. Which mind you is very important because Maris at first thought he had all of the solutions so this manga chapter is going to center itself around a miscalculated perhaps maybe method or strategy from Maris's end that's possibly going to lead to Goku's downfall because keep in mind Goku at this point in time is much stronger than how he was before and Moro is hanging in there with him as if nothing is going on so that is scary Moro is hanging in there with Ultra Instinct Omen Goku as if nothing is even happening so Moro is definitely somebody that you don't want to count out in this battle but by the end of all of this I want to get your thoughts in the comment section below and having an intellectual conversation on these spoilers because the battle involving Goku and Moro is surely going to be barbaric and we are going to be getting additional information a more in-depth look on their battle while Vegeta is on planet Yardrat so once again as a quick reminder if of course you guys want to keep up to date with all of the additional spoilers and leaked images that are going to be coming then I do encourage you guys to smash that subscribe button and more importantly give this video a big thumbs up if you guys are simply stoked to see this because Goku right now have been training months upon months on end with Maris in the time chamber only to have more kind of match him in battle and it's scary to think about what Moro is hiding especially in this upcoming battle now and we're going to be providing you guys with all of the additional spoilers including the full manga translation on the 20th the actual manga will be dropping in English on May 20th so expect to find that video on the channel in its entirety again Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all so much for your time. If, of course, you guys have not checked out some of the previous discussion videos and breakdown videos on the Moral arc itself, along with some cool what-if battles involving Moral versus Jiren and Moral versus Broly, you guys can find those videos located down below. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all so much for your time. Tune back in for the next video, and I'll be seeing each and every single one of you guys down the comment section below. I can't wait until this is animated because you can only imagine how epic this is going to be. Take it easy guys and stay safe. Peace! And a quick little reminder before you guys go, if you guys are unaware, I do have a second gaming channel located down in the description box below, so be sure to head on over to Unreal Royale and hit that subscribe button along with turning on all notifications as to there, you guys will find all different kinds of gaming content that you will not get to find on Unreal and Gaming, titles and video games such as Grand Theft Auto, Call of Duty, Gears of War, Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle, Dragon Ball Z Legends, Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkai, IG3, Minecraft, Blair Witch, and many other retro games on that channel. So if you guys are into gaming, then make sure you guys subscribe over on Unreal Royale. I want to thank you all so much for your time, and I'll catch you all in the next one. This is the Galactic Emperor of the Universe, and of course I'm here to tell you to subscribe to Unreal End Gaming. Also follow Unreal End Gaming on these social media platforms to stay connected at all times. And if you don't, 
then very soon you will all be dead. <laughs> oh, did someone say unrelent gaming? Oh my god. The fuck's up, I'm put on some clothes! Well, why don't you put on any clothes? What? I don't need clothes! But, uh, Jesus Christ, that's huge! <laughs> what, Broly? Freezer. Uh oh. Prepare to die! <laughs> <laughs> that I'm the biggest Unreal Engine gaming fan. This is my moment. I'm a part of his notification squad. Universe 7 can have all the fun. I just want the food. And don't forget to leave a comment on this video. Show some love for the best community on YouTube. <laughs> Kaka!